Welcome to Still Blue's Dawn of War commentary. I hope you enjoy it. This is Still Blue, and I have another Dawn of War 2 commentary for you. The game between Akra and Akithukarian. Uh, Akithukarian plays Apothecary, and Akra plays a class I don't see very often, which is Re Ravena Alpha. And really, this is a very useful Tyranid hero, and it isn't very commonly used by, by any players. So, it turns out we have a little bit of chat going on between the players and as I can deduce from that, Akra recently switched from Eldar to to Tyranids and well, let's look at the players actions. We can see Akra going for a very aggressive approach, very aggressive approach, he's going straight for the victory point after taking just this power node and this requisition point in opposition to his uh, enemy who slowly takes up more ground and tries to have a more reasonable advan advance so yes Ravana Alpha now capturing the victory point and more Tyranid units spawning there's gonna be an engagement here and those Thermodons have no chance against Space Marines, so they will have to retreat. And no generators for any of those players yet, but we can see Akra is now holding two of the victory points. Uh, what is important to remember, or actually important to know, is that Akra is uh, 2000 uh, points player, while Akithakarian is um, is two two thousand and one hundred points player, so a much better. Uh, well, a tad better. So yeah, he is the favorite in this game, but well, much can happen, and with with such a unusual hero, well, this game might be pretty interesting. We have one generator now for Akra. And some scouts getting in to capture the victory point, as it seems. Right now, Akra controls most of the battlefield with uh, Space Marine units. We can see double tactical squad here. We shall see how will this turn out. But as of now, uh, Akra Karen is capturing the buildings on his side of the map and trying to get a more mm, more strong hold over his lands hoping that he'll be able to repulse any enemy attack might happen now this space marine squad is moving towards Raven Alpha to stop him from attacking those scouts that are retreating at the moment meanwhile the apothecary is running away from those homogons which is a good call, I think, since he has no upgrades and he is still level 1. Now we can see that uh, Akita Karen is getting the upper hand in this battle and capturing more victory points. Now Ravana Alpha retreating. He will be able to retreat no trouble, I think. So, good for him. But on the other hand here, more trains and look at that, squad of Rovners. It is a very interesting unit and a very unconventional one. They can burrow and unburrow in any place they desire. They have a strong range and a pretty good melee attack. So, uh, well, I'm really surprised that you can't see them on the battlefield so often. Now, two generators for Akra and three for the Space Marine player. I'm sorry, but this name, Ak Akithakarian, is really hard to pronounce. So I'm probably gonna call him Space Marine. 
And scouts are now being cornered and with the additional speed of Hormagons, I don't believe they will be able to escape. Or will they? Wait, well if they do then they are very lucky scouts. The squad retreating right now, there's no point engaging the army like that. The Ravana is creating another tunnel. Remember, always when you face off the Ravana, be sure to destroy those tunnels because a Tyranid unit can use them to move around the map and transport their army that way. So you can see that those tactical marines destroy this hole. And now the Tyranid army is approaching from the top side of the map. Ravenous going out of the ground straight inside the uh, Space Marine army. Hmm. It seems that those Ravenous don't really have range of attack. Well, I've been out for a very long time, so maybe they changed that, or maybe I just remembered wrong. So now they are only uh, melee units. Well, it doesn't look too good for Space Marine player. He is being cornered in his base. And Tyranids are destroying his power generators right now. He's trying to push out. But surprisingly enough, he still holds a huge portion of the map. But the situation was used by Acra. He destroyed all those generators and a power node, but that didn't stop Akitokarian from getting his level 2 stronghold. But meanwhile, uh, Akra is getting his level 2 high, so there will be two tier 2 players on the map in a in just a minute. Now please let me get some walk Mmm, tasty water. Now, ah, Ravana is capturing this victory point. And the situation is still favoring the Space Marine player. Surprisingly enough for me at least. I mean, it looked pretty bad for him just a moment ago. No upgrades and no level ups for both players whatsoever. And now the Space Marine army has to retreat. They won't be able to face off such might in melee. So they are running away and this is another chance for Akra to seize control of a portion of the map and I believe he should use it. He killed an apothecary but used Lerman's blessing to get him up on his feet again and retreat him. Uh, it's a very good way of using the special skill. When you don't want to waste your reinforce uh, your money on reviving a hero, you can just res him instantly and make him pull back. So it's an important thing to remember. And great Tyr tyrant god is on the way, a very powerful armored creature. Now, as you can see, Akra is actually using his possibility to his advantage and is capturing as much of the map as he can, but Space Marine forces are going out again. Those... Those Raveners did exactly what I thought they would. See now, they are upgraded to be able to... Uh, do ranged attack. And yeah, that's what I remember. Always when I encountered them, they used them. So, see, not that silly at all. Well... Again, the situation seems to be shifting towards the Tyranid player. Although, assault marines are now on the field, so perhaps this might change the balance of the force. Homogons aren't really the best unit against uh, assault marines, for they are really superior in hand to hand combat. Those units will escape, but now a sergeant joined the Assault Marine squad and will be dealing damage to the enemy. Apothecary advanced to level 2, still no war gear on him, but on level 2 he will be that much more powerful. The Indian army is retreating and the Tyrant Guard is moving north.
slowly, but steadily. And I don't think Akihitokarian has anything to deal with it at this point. Uh, he might get some uh, rocket launchers for the Marines. Uh, he might ha might get motor bombs on his assault squad and a power axe on his coffin. And I believe that would be enough to stop the monster. But right now, not really enough to face him. 